Another week of comics are in the book. Today, I'm going to be giving you my pull list review, going to be giving my thoughts and opinions, and some suggestions on all the books I picked up from my local comic book shop for the week of 9-18-24. I'm Alex. Welcome to Graphic Novel Collector. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into this video. First up, we have the highly anticipated the Moon is Following Us by Daniel Warren Johnson with art by Daniel Warren Johnson, Riley Rossimo, and the colors are done by the insanely good Mike Spicer. Holy smokes, I feel so, so lucky to be living in a time where we have two back-to-back -back weeks where we have Daniel Warren Johnson books. Of course, we had Transformers last week and The Moon is Following Us. This is obviously a creator-owned book, his own IP, and him and... Riley Rossmo, the world that they've built here is, oh my gosh, it's it's so good. It's sci-fi. It's a little fantasy. It is a little Wizard of Oz. This story is about a mother and a father that have to go try and save their child from, we don't know, from the bad guys, the Cascade, as they're called in this book. This book is... As always, as every single Daniel Warren Johnson book has heart, it is believable, you care about the characters off the rip, and one thing I do want to say about The Moon is Following Us, the very first issue, not an exposition dump. Take note, other comic book writers, you do not have to do all of this world building via words. You can let the art do its job, and build the world around it. There are several characters in here. You get some bad guys, right? These little skull... I don't know. They're like these little little goblin dudes, but they're like skull-based. And then you get this, this like weapons dealer. His name's Pig Face. And he has a pig. He has a pig face. And he's a weapons dealer. He's like a dream weapons dealer. I don't know where this is going. There is a last page reveal that kind of gives you a lot more of what the hook of this story is, but I'm not going to give that away. This is not a spoiler version of the review, but overall, Daniel Warren Johnson, absolutely crushing it. This man can do no wrong in my eyes thus far. Every single story I've read has been amazing. I just finished Wonder Woman Dead Earth. That was excellent. And Daniel Warren Johnson and Riley Rossimo have something Really, really good. And if I know anything about Daniel Warren Johnson's writing, this book might not have a happy ending, which I I appreciate in storytelling, in comics, in movies, whatever the medium is, I appreciate you don't always get what you want. But obviously, this is the only issue of the book I've read thus far. It was amazing. I really, really love the world that they're building and the characters. You already, after one issue, I care. I have an emotional tie to these two characters and their child. It's incredible. Daniel Warren Johnson is able to do so much with just 22 pages of comics. It's incredible. If you haven't picked up The Moon is Following Us, do yourself a favor. Go pick it up. It's absolutely amazing. Five stars. Five stars. Next up, we have one from Dark Horse. This is issue one of four. This is the Mass Mocker or Masher. Masher? I'm not sure. Anyways, it follows the story of this really full of himself actor who is expecting to get a role in a film. It's 1933, I think. And the inside interior art is done by Alexis Andres and colors by Gonzalo Durate. But, so we follow this man. His name is, what is it, Johnny Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, and he is just absolutely full of himself. He's had a few small roles in some, video, uh, in some other movies, but he's on his way to a movie at Warner Brothers a lot, and he, he gets a flat tire. And then this lady's like, hey, you're big. Come wrestle, and it, silliness ensues from there. He's super, super into himself. Uh, he basically know he knows everything about the wrestling business, having only participated in one match, 
and I really liked it. There's a really weird, really weird twist at the end. It kind of gives me vibes of Forrest Gump because he interacts with Joe Lewis. Yes, that Joe Lewis. And it says in the book, yes, that Joe Lewis. There's another actor from that era that he interacts with that is a real life person or was a real life person. Uh, and you, you'll have to read it. I don't want to give away too much, but it was pretty good. The ending, the narrator in this book, you, you learn who the narrator is in the final page. And you're just like, where is this going? It was super random, super weird. Uh, it was a fun book, though. It was a fun book. I'd give it like three stars. I'm definitely going to pick up the second issue. If you're a fan of pro wrestling or a fan of period pieces, you probably want to pick this up. It was a fun read. It, I'm not saying it's going to win an Eisner or anything, but it was a fun read. I really enjoyed it. Again, if you're if you're a pro wrestling fan, pick it up. You'll like it. You'll enjoy it. Joe Lewis is in it. It's insane. <laughs> it's 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 a really wild, weird tale, especially when you get to the last page. Next up, we have a small press book. You know I love to support my indie and my actual indie, I mean small press, like, I don't know if you'll be able to get this book. You can probably get it on Amazon, but this is Death Slinger by Shane Berryhill, and the art is by Ben Perkins, lettering and graphic designers Keith Finch, and editor and publishers Eli Schwab. But this thing is pretty big. It's like a trade paperback. It's got about five books in here. But let me show you this art. This is a pretty uh, straightforward uh, sci-fi space western but the art the story is it's simple but we get the gist and it's got some heart here i really really enjoyed this you have this cyborg lady who is called i believe her name's jenny 666 she's a death slinger and basically what is a death slinger it's someone so several years ago, we don't know how long, but there was a civil war and essentially the bad guys in this civil war, it's basically Nazis. And in a couple of the last pages, I mean, it's very heavily hinted at at the very beginning of the book, but who oh boy, some of the iconography in this book, they just straight up have people like doing the, yeah, it's, it's, you know, they're doing the, the motion, they're doing the motion of, of uh, the Hitler motion. So, yeah. Um, the art's excellent, though. I love the, the style. One thing I think that a lot of small press books struggle with is the art, because finding great artists, you know, great artists cost great money. <laughs> but this book, uh, the art is the art's really good. The coloring is in, insanely good. And it has, like, after each issue, so there's about five issues in here, I think, and they're about, I would say, six or seven pages long. And then you have like this little, um, I guess they're kind of emails between different people. And then you have like character, like wanted posters, which is really cool in between some of the issues. So I really love this though. Deathslinger, again, very straightforward, fun, epic adventure with with uh Jin E. she meets this worker this craftsman this uh he, he's a fixer he fixes things and his kid who is also kind of a cyborg he's kind of a cyborg basically everybody's kind of a cyborg it seals except for the lizard people which are like i guess the bad guys depending on which side of the story you're on but uh yeah he, she has him and his daughter calls him little magpie <laughs> um fix her up and there's a nice twist at the end in the last issue uh, i'm excited there's a two this is a two-parter so this is part one and i'm excited to see the second one death slinger if you can get it at your local comic shop definitely try uh but it's by cosmic lion productions in the back you can ha have a qr code it has a qr code and you can actually order the book from Amazon. So that's cool. You can get this book. I know some of the books I talk about is like literally probably impossible uh, for you to get, but Death Slinger's really, really sick. I'll probably give it 
three and a half stars. It's pretty straightforward, but the art, it's got heart. Moving on to Kieran Gillen and Casper Wingard's The Power Fantasy issue number two. This is a $3.99 comic from Image Comics. And again, the art in here is excellent. If you watch uh, the last time I talked about this book, exposition, exposition, talky, talky, very, a lot of words. And it's not that I don't like reading, but as you can see off the rip, holy smokes, there's a ton of words on the very first couple pages. I don't know if I'm going to continue this book. There's a ton of talking, a lot of floating head conversations, just kind of the antithesis of what I like in my comics. You know, I don't mind talking heads, but there's got to be some action. There's got to... Let's get to the meat of the matter here. Um, and basically, in the first issue, if you haven't read it, I don't know what to tell you. It's been out a week, at, or it's been out a month at this point. But uh, yeah, this guy made this gentleman basically kill the president and a ton of other people because he said if he didn't, he was going to kill a bunch of people. So... I don't know, basically six people on the planet have superpowers and they're trying to decide morally what's right. And we get introduced to another character in this book, but overall, I'm probably not going to read this anymore. Um, just too much words, not enough action. Um, Kieran Gillen is usually a pretty great writer, honestly. But yeah, this one just not, not doing it for me. If you're going to do a superhero book, Let's have some more action. I don't need... It's It's kind of like the opposite of The Moon is Following Us in terms of that first book where the first issue of Power Fantasy was all exposition, no action until like two-thirds of the way through. You know, The Moon is Following Us, all action, and it made you fall in love with the characters off the rip. But Power Fantasy issue two... I'm not a fan. I'm probably not going to pick up issue number three. And moving on to the final book that I picked up. This is the Ultimate X-Men issue number seven by Peach Momoko. Uh, a lot of people, this is a very polarizing book and a lot of people don't like it. That being said, I'm still enjoying it. I will say I'm getting a little bit confused on the plot here. Uh, this is the first issue of the second arc. Um, in the last issue, we had... The Shadow King help save some folks, and we got introduced to Storm. So, or this version, this, you know, this this version of Storm. But here we've got Peach Momoko's art's incredible, folks. So, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, if you are a fan of Peach Momoko, or aren't really liking the Earth 616 X-Men books, listen, I know you've probably heard... Mixed, mixed reactions about this book, but give it a shot. Read the first several issues. See if it's for you. I really enjoy this thus far. Again, they are kind of losing me on the plot a little bit, but the last, uh, I would say, two-thirds of this book really did bring it together for me. And Peach Momoko is a good storyteller and an excellent artist, so I'm sticking with it. Ultimate X-Men, issue number seven. I definitely enjoyed it. Just to review, we've got Ultimate X-Men. I like it. Kind of losing me on the story, but definitely, definitely sticking with it. The art is excellent and something different from the X-Men world. I'll probably give it about a three stars. Power Fantasy, not really digging it. Not really my thing. Um, too much talky-talky, not enough punchy-punchy. Deathslinger, if you can get it, probably get it on Amazon. Deathslinger, absolute excellent, excellent small press book. Just a good old-fashioned sci-fi shooter the mass matcher again excellent book a uh, fun really weird ending if you like pro wrestling definitely pick it up and like i said at the beginning of the video if you are a fan of daniel Ward johnson or if you're a fan of comic books you should just read this it's excellent uh five-star book in my opinion daniel warren johnson no matter what he does at this point he's kind of getting to that ed brubaker status where whatever he's gonna put out i'm probably gonna read so the moon is following us excellent excellent book please go pick it up at your local comic shop. So there you go. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. If you enjoy this, if you like cho chopping it up, talking comic books, looking towards me for your comic book reviews and insights, 
make sure to hit that subscribe button like the video again chop it up let me know what you picked up are there any series this week that came out that i missed out now i'm out here balling on a budget so keep that in mind but i would love to hear your suggestions for comic books thank you all so much oh hit the notification thing turn it to all that way you don't miss out on content and uh yeah i appreciate you all this <laughs> yo comics are awesome comics are dope i appreciate you all and until the next video, I'll catch you all on the Fibby Flop. Adios!